Hello and welcome to Beer Critic, where we try various beers and give our reviews and our opinions on them. Tonight we are trying hams. Predominantly known as a, a um, cheap beer, a poor man's beer. But I'm okay with that. I'm a poor man and I like cheap beer. And it's a fuck a lot better than Keystone. And as far as cheap beer goes, what more can you really ask for? That's no shit. <laughs> the beer was first started in 1865 by Theodore Ham, who, before getting to the brewery business, was a butcher. Imagine that. Ham the butcher. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Yeah. I but wonder if that counts as cannibalism. Could be. Could be. But, being German, beer is in his blood. So I'm sure he probably would have loved David Hasselhoff as well. Fucking David Hasselhoff. David fucking Hasselhoff. Almost makes me ashamed to drive a Firebird. Not quite. Eh. But, for the past 20 years or so, hams has not been easy to find as, you know, Bud Light and brands like that have gained in popularity. The smaller brands, smaller companies went out of business. Well, they are now owned by Miller Coors, who have decided to do a nationwide push and bring it back. So without further ado, let's try the hams. You have the beer? I thought you were supposed to get the beer. You were supposed to get the beer. You were supposed to. Oh, damn it. Well, the first review is going wonderfully. Well, maybe if we think really hard, pray to the beer gods, some will appear to so. see. Think, think really, really hard. Yes, the beer gods. Think hard, damn it. Don't think too hard. You don't want to shit yourself. I think you're a Jerry's kid. Hey, that may be, but I still like beer. So think, think real hard. <laughs> Holy shit, it worked. Can you believe that shit? All right, well, let's try the hams. Pop of the pan. I like that. Pour our beer. I'm going to frost this mug naturally because that's the only way to drink a beer. Can't hardly see because it's um kind of frosted mud, but it smells it's like beer. It's good beer smell to it. Sorry about the clicking, it's the dachshunds. Yeah. Let's give her a taste, what do you say? Ready? Cheers, my face. Not too bad. Not bad at all. It, it's a lighter beer. I mean, you can tell by the color. Granted, you can't see it all that well, but it is a quite light golden yellow color. And for being a real beer, not a light beer, it is rather lightly flavored, but it doesn't have that weird bitter bite that a lot of beers in the U.S. anyway have. Yeah, that's um, one of my main concerns with, you know, Bud Light and Budweiser. It's you know, just this weird, you know, bitterness, weird after flavor that this just doesn't have. This is sweet. This is nice. This is a beer you can sit down and you can really just, you can drink it while you're talking to somebody. You don't have to, this is a beer you can just sit down and drink, unlike Budweiser where the only real reason to drink Budweiser is to get drunk so you choke the shit down. This is actually pleasant. Yeah, this is one of those, um, on a hot day, or I'm on the yard, or uh, working, in, working in the yard, or after work, you want to come home and have a beer, this is, this is the one you go to. This is, I mean, for a, for a cheap beer, I mean, I paid $16 for a 30-pack. I mean, compared to other beers, 
fairly cheap. I mean, it's been known as a cheap beer. Always has. I mean, but for the money's worth, I think it can, it can compete with any of the rest of them. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, Especially for a good price point. This is by far my favorite beer. Now, not my favorite overall, so don't freak out and think we're just weird like that. But, for its price point, for, you know, 16 bucks for a 30 pack, or what was the six pack of 16 ounce cans six, we got? The uh, six pack was like four like or something? Four and a half, four, four fifty, something like that. <laughs> At its price point, this is the easiest to drink, most refreshing. You know, this is a barbecue beer, in my opinion. This is a yeah, going beer. out on the lake and fishing yeah. beer. It doesn't make you thirsty the more you drink, like Budweiser and Coors and a lot of the others. Uh, yeah, that, that's the thing. It is a very refreshing beer. It is. It's quite nice. You know, it's it's one of those beers that you just you just sit down and drink, have a beer with your friends, so on and so forth. Reach for Ams, you know. It's it's a good beer. It really is. And even stepping away from the for its price point. I think this is a good beer overall. Probably not my favorite no. overall, but as far as just a good go-to beer, I like it. Oh, absolutely. If it's one of those that, um, you know, being poor, you know, <laughs> being a working man, gotta be a working man. I mean, this is, you want something cheap that's gonna taste good? You gotta do the trick. This is this would be my go-to. I mean, yeah, not exactly my favorite, but as far as of the reasonably priced beers, I would say it's probably my favorite. Better than you know, back when I was twenty-one, everyone had Keystone and Bud Light and Naturals, but I Natural. Natural light and natural best. And Milwaukee's beast. Milwaukee's beast, <laughs> yeah. Not a Miller High Life. Oh. Yeah, that and, uh, ugh. I would literally, literally rather drink water out of the toilet than a Miller High Life. That is the nastiest beer I have ever fucking had. <laughs> I think that's how they brew it. <laughs> they don't use spring waters. They, um, they use toilet waters. <laughs> this hams brewed in tr in true family tradition from the purest water and choicest barley malt. Purest water tastes good. I swear to God, Miller High Life is made from the runoff of a sewage plant. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the high life. That's that's the high life. That's how they got the name. <laughs> You've got to be high to enjoy it. Yeah, overall, it's it's hams, you know, from the land of sky blue waters to some dumbass's house in Missouri. Try your hams. Anything else you'd like to say? I guess the basic gist of the whole review and the most important part of all of it if you do enjoy beer, if you're not trying to get drunk every time you drink, you just enjoy the flavor and you want to have a beer every now and then, or a couple at a barbecue, or something along those lines. If you've never tried a ham, I personally suggest it. Absolutely. You know, everybody's taste is different, but I can 100% suggest trying ham's beer. It's good, it's cheap, it's refreshing. It does have a little bit of a sweet aftertaste. Sweet, not bitter. But it's not overly like, say, your Smirnoff Ice. Yeah. That it's just so sweet you know it's going to turn on your stomach. This has a little bit of a sweet taste, but nothing like that. 
however they they chose to the, the mixture of hops and barley and everything they got it right I mean, it's they they definitely did and I enjoy it I do too so yeah I suggest giving it a shot it's really not bad it's good cheap beer what more can you say? That's what that's what beer should be. Shouldn't be fancy. It should it should be beer. Try your hams. And remember, no matter what you're drinking, no matter where you are, the only people dumb enough to drink and drive voted for Hillary. <laughs> You heard it, folks. <laughs>